No, I, I, I would love to dive more into the, the masculinity stuff. Maybe when you come see us in London, I know, uh, okay. I, I, I find that stuff fascinating. I don't think it's spoken about enough. And I think we need to have these conversations. It's not necessarily political correct or the wokeness, but I think going down that road severely impairs us. So um, I found it really fascinating, some of the work you're doing when it comes to that. And I love right. open and honest discussions and debates about ideas. And I'm a big fan of freedom of speech and allowing people to speak their truth and then to debate it. Um, I know you got a channel shut down from YouTube in 2019. We almost got our sh channel shut down in 2020 because I was broadcasting okay. s conversations that were questioning some of the uh, lockdowns and some of those things. And so, yeah, I, I've, you know, I've been censored before and it's, it's, I don't think it's very helpful. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate some of the things that you say. Okay. I get, I get my revenge against YouTube. Uh, every maskless video I put up on the internet, uh, I'll have four links, you know, three to alternative uh, storage sites and one to to YouTube. And so anyone who looks at, wants to watch any one of my over 600 now, uh, maskless videos, uh, whenever they tap on the YouTube, up comes a message, censored. And I tap on the, any of the other three, they, they all work. So every, every time a user uh, does that, they get the message, YouTube censored. And that's, that's my revenge. Yeah, they do censor. Uh, and yeah, we, uh, we, we were very publicly censored back in 2020. We've actually got a documentary film coming about the whole, uh, about the whole thing in about three months. So uh, if you're in uh, Britain, we'll definitely get you uh, over there for that. Um, Professor, uh, really appreciate October? this. Um, October? October? It's going to be in July. Is that, you're here in ah, October? Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll be here in October, yeah. And then the plan is three months every year from then on. Oh, to, for you. Just to, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, well, the Terrans will need you to fight, or the Cosmos, depending. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, for everybody's watching, if they want to read the book, there's a link actually on our website where this episode is being featured, uh, where people can click on it and get your book for free. I think it goes to your yes. website. Um, right. So that yeah, it's free. Yes. Yeah, that link's there. I highly recommend everyone check it out. I'm going to be going a little bit deeper on the book as well. Um, Professor, I really appreciate you. Appreciate your ideas. Um, I I really hope you keep talking about this because most of the world has no idea what is about to happen. I would I would say it's it's a bit like the early days of the pandemic when we saw somebody fall over in China and we thought, look at that curious thing that's happening over there, and then went on to get their latte and complain about the, the their SUV not uh, going fast enough. And they don't realize that this is coming. It's going to change everyone's lives forever. And probably the sooner people realize that, the better, I believe. Um, but I look forward to you continuing to comment on this space, uh, Professor. And thanks for putting these ideas out there. Well, Brian, thank you for inviting me. You've given me a forum. And I really hope these think tankers you know, take it to heart and start thinking hard about government policy because you know, that, that's the next step. This, this whole issue has to go political. Now that, that's my take home message. Do we build gods or do we build our potential exterminators? That, that's the issue. Should humanity build artifacts? I appreciate it, Professor. Thank you very much. We'll do this again when you're in London. And thanks to everybody for watching. We will see you next time on London Real. Take care, Professor. Take care, everybody else. Bye-bye. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all 
to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.